hop in there. Look, he's got a big old leech. It's the same thing, right? Oh, what a still morning this morning. Huh. Oh, it's very still. I slept with the rain fly. This vegetable open. Vegetable. No rain. Wind died off. Very still. Very still morning. So we probably have some good weather today. Probably. You know who knows. Oh, my hands are dirty. Um, so I haven't got to jump in the lake yet. I just haven't felt like it. But I use... Huh, I got some face wipes. Wipe my face off. Keep clean a little bit. But anyways, it's a nice peaceful morning. Um, we've got some pretty easy portages today. And then there's a definite longer one. It's like over a half mile. Uh, I think there's two of them. I don't know if we're going to knock out both of them today or not. We'll see. Anyways, we're going to get up. Have a nice morning. And we're going to definitely do some fishing on this lake. And then, uh, yeah. So let's get up and do it. You see, Wendy? What do you say? What do you say? Greet the day? Wendy. Whoa, whoa, wee, 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 Oh! Beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. Let's get a stick, Monty.
guess this will do. Couldn't find the right stick. Okay, okay, okay. A little bouncy bunny. Oh, you got that sick, huh? Oh yeah, you got your ninja skills? Huh? Oh yeah? Oh. You hear him growling as he runs, he's running too fast. <laughs> he always does that when he gets too much speed. Right, Monty? Give me that stick. Oh, oh, you're gonna fight me for it, huh? So yeah, we don't have a crazy, there's no crazy rush today. Um, I think we've got like, Six or seven porridges planned. Most of them are small, except for there's a couple of the, the biggest ones of the trip back to back. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna do them both today. It'd be nice to get them both out of the way. But we'll see. We're just gonna kinda, I'll throw the stick for Monty for a bit here. And then uh, we're gonna get packed up. Get, um, what was I saying? Ooh, get that stick, Monty. So yeah, I'm just gonna throw the stick for Monty here for a bit. And then we are gonna get packed up and we are going to make some breakfast. So. Let's cue. Coffee and oatmeal Ooh. sequence. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead.
It's a pretty perfect morning out there. Oh shoot. I spilled my oats. I think we can catch a fish over there. Not here. Over there. It's a calm one, Monty. Nothing like oatmeal and coffee. Out in the wilderness. Now don't get me wrong, I wouldn't mind bacon and eggs. And hash browns. A little piece of toast. Mm. But I ain't carrying it out here. Maybe in our October trip we'll do it a couple mornings because we have to restock at the car. Well, we have to go back and drop off our friend like twice. So we could just, you know, bring it out for one morning. That'd be nice. And it'll be really cold. So you don't have to worry about things spoiling. I think we're going to do that. It is so still. All right, well, I want to get in this water and get fishing, so I'm going to just finish this up, finish packing, and we're going to get on this water and fish, of course. And we're off. All right, we've got some nice down trees here. Let's take some pictures. Just a few. And then we're gonna do some trolling. I had a jig on here because I was trying last night. I just took a few casts. Then I put out the, or I had the uh, slip bobber out, nothing. That was a dangerous cast. Stack. Okie dokie. So I'm going to start trolling here in a minute. There's a little rock up ahead and I don't want to snag it, but um, yeah, I got on the old chartreuse everything slayer. Um, we're gonna troll along that same drop off we did yesterday, except instead of using the top water or the shallow flow, we're gonna use the deep diver. We'll just go out a little ways. Um, I'm gonna start with just let, I usually let out like 100 feet of line whenever I troll this thing, but we're gonna start with like 20 feet just so we don't get any snags till we get to that drop off. And then we'll like work it up to like 50 and then so on. I wanna, I wanna troll. I just don't want to get snags and have to keep resetting it. Oh, let's just drop it now. What are we waiting for? We'll just, we won't let it out very far to start. That's what we'll do. It's a nice cooler day. This is like perfect out right now. Slightly cool, overcast, low winds. This is what I was talking about. When I was looking for my ideal. This is pretty much it. I still might need the shades. It's kind of bright out, even though it's like there's no sun out. It's still just like, with all the white in the sky and the reflecting off the lake, it's still just kind of bright. You know what? We're not even gonna mess around. Why sit there and suffer? They're right here. They are right here. Oh, they're a little, a little dirty. Imagine that. Not as, no way they're as dirty as this white tea though. 
<laughs> Am I right? <laughs> it's a little grungy. There's a, there's a couple that's not staying. It's like brand new. What am I talking about? Anyways, yeah, this is like perfect. It's like if I were to just like sit here, I might get a little chilly and want to put on a long sleeve, but as long as I'm paddling and moving around, it's like perfect. For Portage, I'd like it like 10 degrees colder, but that's okay. I'll take this over heat any day. So it looks like that, uh, well, what we had uh, winds, then a rainstorm, and then we had crazy winds yesterday. So it must have been just a system change. So that sh I think that means this is gonna be a low pressure system for the next few days. So I don't really know what that means. <laughs> Maybe I'm completely wrong, I don't know. We're just, we're just guessing, Mine's just groaning. Oh, he's already got his head down. He's done for the day, he's, <laughs> he's used to this by now. <laughs> Oh, Monty, Monty, Monty. You're such a stinky dog. Pretty sure I just heard a little rumble of thunder. From over there. <laughs> oh boy. I did put all my rain gear in the food bag right on top uh, for quick access. Because it does just look a little rainier, like it just could happen today. It probably will, that's okay. But uh, I also put my tarp and everything right at the top of my bag in this bag, so we get stuck in another downpour and we have to just, you know, get to a campsite and set up. I can just huddle over my bag, open it up, throw out the tarp real quick, and then, uh, you know, set up the tarp and then do everything else after that. But we're gonna, we hit bottom once. Now we should be deep enough to set this line and just troll it on out. Do you want to go for the dog park? Do you want a treat? Go for dog park? Do you want a treat right now? <laughs> That's a good boy, Monty. Where the fish is at? Come on, fishes. Come on, fishes. Come on now. I ain't gonna eat you today. We're gonna let you go, but we won't catch you. We won't say hello. Set you on your way. Say good day. Okay? What do you say? So we passed by that beautiful drop off again with this lure, no hits whatsoever. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe they're suspended. Maybe they're out in the open. So we're just gonna, for a second here before we hit this, we're just gonna try going across right in the middle where it's deepest. And this thing gets down about 20, 25 feet. It has roughly, I don't, I don't really know actually. I think it says it gets down to like 10, 15, but when I let out 100 plus feet of line, I'm sure it gets down lower than that. But uh, yeah, we'll try going over the middle here. Maybe they're suspended. Maybe we'll pick some up this way. I don't really know. I'm gonna leave this thing and just let it out when I catch fish all day. Kinda, maybe, sometimes. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Mm. 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 This spot here looks really promising. It goes right in between two points and it looks like it's just a sliver of 40 feet right in the center. So if I can go right down the middle, gotta be good chances, come on. Come on. 
they're wrong with the depths, we're going to get a snag. But if they're, but if the map's correct, potential for a nice big fat walleye. Oh yeah, let's come on. Do it. Do it. Bite it. See it. Bite it. Eat it. It's delicious. Yellow fish. I won't look at you anymore. Disappointing. Disappointed in you. Just. <laughs> okay, so let's portage over to the next lake. I don't think it's uh, it's gonna happen here. Hey, we'll catch them at a different lake. Mont is a peculiar critter. <laughs> he always, uh, he, he much prefers getting a lift into the boat rather than uh, having to jump in himself. I just told him to get in and he just like stood there and put his head down. That means he's like, pick me up, put me in. I don't want to put the effort in. <laughs> Little lazy turd nugget. Yeah. He's smart though, he knows I'm gonna pick him up. I make him jump in sometimes. Sometimes he gives me a look like, come on man. What are you doing? Pick me up. Pick me up dad, I don't want to deal with this. We're not going to fish this lake, but we are going to fish the next lake. Oh, the sun's coming out and it's getting hot. That means we're going to sweat today. Maybe today will be the day we finally just jump in the water. <laughs> I haven't felt like it. The one time I was going to was right before that crazy rainstorm started. And it started pouring. I was definitely going to jump in then, but then it just like started pouring. And then, you know, the next morning I just wasn't, you know, feeling like getting in the water. Yesterday was just a little too windy. I didn't feel like getting in the water. We got to the camp too late, didn't have time. So, you know, it is what it is. You know, I stink a bit like poop, but I'm a, you know, I'm out here by myself. When I feel really scummy, like too scummy, then I'll just, I can't contain myself and I'll do it. But I've been using a few wipes for my face and whatnot, so it's all good. It's all good. You know, I'm sure there's some people that can't go one day without, you know, jumping in the water. And there's some people that can probably go like two weeks and not even worry about jumping in the water. I'm kind of like a three, four days is my limit. You know, I'll do it every day if it's like warm and nice out, but if it's like chillier and stuff, I'll go three, four days and then like use some wipes. You know, if I'm by myself, it's not a big deal. It's just all about how you feel. You know? Now, if you gotta share a tent with somebody, I probably wouldn't like being in my tent right now. <laughs> uh. Monty, 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 Monty. Come on, let's go. Let's go, come on. Oh, he did it. What a champ, what a champ. Okay, this looks like a nice enough lake ball fishing. We're gonna go back with the jig head with the little green with flakes sort of thing. I uh, just rigged this on and I smelled bananas and I was like, what the heck? Bananas? And I looked and I guess these are banana scented. Apparently fish like bananas. 
These fish are bananas. I won't go there. <laughs> so we'll try a little mix. We'll do a little casting out, a little casting in. No idea what's in this lake. I'm assuming the run of the mill pike bass walleye sort of thing. I really like a walleye. Actually, I'd like any fish right now. Any fish would be great. Ooh, that was a bite. What? What is it, Monty? Something really upset him there. <laughs> he just jumped up out of nowhere. Oh my dear, you're, you're a critter. That's for sure. Oh no. Uh oh. Panfish nibbles? That was definitely not no big fish. Unless it was bottom or something. So it looks like this section of the lake is like max of 10 feet or more, 10, 15. And then there's another section after a little channel that gets to like 30 some. So maybe we'll, tr we'll try out there if we don't have any bites in a few minutes. Let's keep casting for a minute here. We're gonna move towards the deeper part of the lake. Okay, we're just gonna troll this thing along the way too. Huh. Well, we stink. We stink at this whole fishing thing. I got some. I got a walleye. <laughs> I was just cast, I was like, there's nothing in here. Lo and behold, good old Walter. Ooh, this almost makes me want to have fish dinner tonight. No, we've got to go too far. There we go, though. All right. We got our fish for the day. Oh, awesome. I was getting discouraged. I was like, you know what? This channel looks too good to not have fish. All right, we're gonna let this guy go because we've got to do some long portages and he'd be dead. And I was planning on fish dinner tomorrow, but if we catch some more later in the day, we'll have a fish dinner today, but I like to space it out, you know? But if we catch some like monster walleye later today, wherever nearby, wherever we're camping, then we'll let him go or we'll, we'll keep for dinner. All right, awesome. That was a very rare occurrence. Very, very rarely will you see me let go a perfectly good eater sized walleye. But I've got my reasons, it's okay. We'll catch more fish. I'm just happy we caught one. 
<clears throat> now I know what's in this lake, I had no idea. I had no idea it was gonna work. I was definitely discouraged, but now I know. Um, I was just kind of letting it sink out from the edge here. Could probably pick up another one. So we got a Larry Lake Trout, we got a Bobby Bass, we got a Peter Pike, and we got a Walter Walleye. We've got what we want, now we just need to catch a fish tomorrow and the next day to meet both goals. I'm glad they wanted the white too, I wasn't sure what they were going for. But that guy was kind of aggressive, you know, I pulled it away from the edge and uh... Was letting it sink not I wasn't really he kind of just went after it it wasn't a slow bite oh Monty and I was also gonna say I know I record a lot of casts I usually record like half of them but I don't record all of them so sometimes I catch fish not on camera <laughs> I would go through so much battery and SD cards if I recorded every cast it, it'd be near it'd be I could do it, but it'd be really tough. I'd probably just should probably just bring double the batteries All right, we're gonna try another couple points here, and then we're gonna keep moving See I'm, I'm already having slight fish regret <laughs> Even though I don't I wasn't planning on doing a, a fish dinner today uh and it, it would, the fish would be fine even if you flayed it up and I put it in my bag now. It wouldn't be the best. I don't like my fish getting too warm, but I, it would be. It, there's no way it would be like spoiled rotten by the end of the day. It might be a little slimy, but you know it's not too bad. But we still got seven hours of light left, so it's a little cooler day. It would probably last it, and, and it would probably even last till tomorrow. Like survival situation, you know. I'm sure it lasts till tomorrow just fine as long as you cooked it well. But I like fresh, fresh fish when I'm out here. You know, I don't like day old fish. I don't like even eight hour old fish. I like it to be fresh as it can be. That's one of the that's one of the perks of catching it and eating it out here. Is having it just being the freshest fish. It's really hard to not cast at some of these down trees. Just want one final. So yeah, with that walleye there, I wasn't doing anything different than I was doing any other spot on the lake, you know, casting out, letting it drop. That one was actually, like I said, I was surprised. I was kind of just reeling it in, kind of faster. Just cast it in towards a tree, let it drop for maybe a second, then just start reeling it in, and he, he nailed it. Normally, I, I always feel like walleye, eh, you know, so he's a little aggressive. But yeah, I wasn't doing anything different. Just the same old, same old. And that one decided to bite, so what the heck? Why can't more of them bite all the time? Why not? I guess that's why they call it fishing. You know, maybe every one of my casts is just not near the fish. And that one just happened to be. Maybe they're like, maybe the bite's super good. I just happen to be putting my lure in the wrong spot every time. Oh, see, now that I caught a fish, like every tree I want to cast near. Now, now we've spent like an hour here. Hour. Okay, one more, 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 one more. This tree looks too nice to not cast. And the only way I would change my plans for like a fish dinner today versus waiting till tomorrow is if we caught like a really nice walleye right before bed if we're on the lake we are for the night or maybe a big old lake trout <sighs> then I'd have a tough time saying no I got teased last night that wasn't enough fish I'd like our last fish dinner just to be a pig out just big old lake trout or two big walleye or two bass or bass and a walleye or bass and a lake trout walleye and a lake trout you notice how I never really eat pike, and it's just because of the bones. It's not a big deal. I just prefer other fish. Well, pike take, taste delicious, don't get me wrong. I just prefer walleye and lake trout the most. 
than bass. But pike are good. I do love a fire roasted pike. ate some cheese. Well, me and Monty both ate some cheese. We both ate some beef jerky. Ate some nuts. Had a little uh, uh, granola bar and then some water. I'm doing this new thing. I guess it's the hip new thing to where uh, before, right when you feel a little hungry, you, you eat snacks rather than wait till you do a bunch more portages and then you're really hungry and drained. You know, all the all the new kids are doing it, all the hip young kids. I guess that's what they're doing. <laughs> I usually just like hammer it out and don't snack up till I'm like, all right. Like I just hammer out a big chunk of the work and then like I'm like really hungry and then I'll take a big old snack break, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be smart about it. You wanna just be snacking all day. I normally am just like, you know, go, go, go. But yeah, I was just feeling a little bit hungry. I was like, I'll wait till after that. I was like, you know, you know what? No, we're gonna change that today. I'm gonna eat. I've got, we've got another uh, almost quarter mile portage here. And then we've got the one that's over a half mile. And I wanted to eat and drink on this lake before the big one. Or like two, uh, two lakes before the big one or one lake before the big one. You know, so it has time to settle. My stomach, I'm not getting cramped and I'm not all like sloshy. So it'll be a good like 20, 20, 30 minutes before we get to that porch, maybe 45. That'll be good. Hey, Monty. Well, there are some fresh moose tracks on that one. Ooh. Monty's squeaking. Don't be squeaking. Monty is full of pickers right now. So, if everything goes according to plan, I'm thinking we're gonna hammer this portage out. The next one is the biggest of the trip. It's like two thirds mile, or maybe a little, little under two thirds mile, maybe like a mile and a half, or no, half mile, just over half mile, somewhere in there. Who, who cares? It's a longer one and it's inclined, so it's gonna be a sweaty portage. If it all goes well, we are gonna jump in the water as soon as we complete this portage. Cause I am sweaty, I am sticky. The temperature outside is moderate. You know, it's kind of cool, but when I'm moving, I know I'm gonna be sweating after this one. Monty's settling. But yeah, there was fresh moose tracks on there all over and I was kind of being quiet um, on that portage and trying to keep Monty behind. And I was hoping to see one maybe at the lake, but no, they were definitely headed towards the lake. So they, they came down here. Just must have been earlier in the day. This has been a beautiful area to hit in the morning for moose sighting. Let's see. Probably be quiet the next couple lakes and not talk a whole lot. Try to see a moose. Maybe we'll see a moose. I'd love to see a moose. I like moose. Moose are cool.
Oh, this, this is a mucky lake. Oh, jeez. Bunchy. What is going on here? Oh. oh, this is not fun to swim in. What the heck is this? But this is not fun to swim in. What the heck? Oh my gosh. I feel like if I if I sink down in this I ain't getting back out. Hold on, I have to Jeez, this is not not ideal. All right, I'm just gonna have to go for it and swim out and surface swim and pray that I don't get stuck. It's not very deep, it's like muck. Oh, this kind of feels gross. Oh, that's refreshing. Oh. Hi, Monty. Oh, don't crawl on me. Oh. oh, man, I can't even tread water. It's like muck and sticks. All right, go. Go, I don't want you crawling on me. But you're fine. <laughs> okay, Monty, go ahead. You're okay. It's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> Ow! Monty, don't! What are you doing? <sighs> oh. oh my gosh. Much needed. Oh yeah. It's hard to swim. I just got. I gotta like keep moving. Oh Monty. No, I'm okay. No, I'm okay. I was just washing my face again. Okay, let's go back. No, it's okay. Let's go back, Monty. Good boy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You betcha. Don't you know? All right. Now for the tricky part, getting out of this muck and not being covered in muck and dirt. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, jeez. I'll help you on a sec, Monty. Unfortunately, our Monty has suffered maximum dirt casualties. He's got dirt. I don't know if he picks it up very well, but that's all mud. Oh, that's mud. He's got it all over. He's full of pickers and burrs. Oh, man. This is going to be fun. You're going to have to... Oh, oh. Oh, jeez, Monty. Oh, you're such a mess. Look at you got You got leaves in your tail. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, jeez. You're a hot mess. Look at the pickers stuck in your booty. Oh, 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 boy. Oh man, do I feel like a new man. Oh man, oh yeah. What about you, Monty? What's that, Monty, who's there? Who's there? Just kidding, I just wanted to see your face before you start squeaking again. Oh, that was much needed. But man, was that not, that was probably the least enjoyable swim I've ever done as far as the 
the swimming part. Like now that I can see, like this is just, I can't see out here. It's just like murky, but man, if you're one of those people that don't like when things are touching your feet or you can feel bottom when you're swimming, this would have been your worst nightmare. It was just like a soft algae bloom muck with sticks all over it. And I, and I went out in the middle and I, I mean, maybe right here it's not there, but it did not feel very good. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't like weird me out or anything. It's just like, I just want to swim in like water, not muck. And it's hard to clean. Like I've got muck stuff all over us or all over me and Monty, he's coated. He has to go swimming again or he's going to be a nightmare. I just got to dunk him in a clean lake. So I was going to potentially stay here, but we've got four hours of light left. And this is just, I don't think the fishing's gonna be very good on this lake. It did not seem, ugh, I just didn't like that bottom. And you know, I just, you know, I don't really desire to drink this water. It's not, I like pristine, if I'm out here in the wilderness, I like pristine clear, crystal clear water. This is murky nastiness. We're not even gonna fish here. We're gonna be snobs right now because of that swim by, oh. Monty got my underwear and my shirt more wet than when I was in the, the pouring rain. <laughs> he just went right up there and soaked it. My pants were wet too. He must have just like went right over my clothes and just shook off. That was a bad place on my end, but... So, we've got an equally long portage. Another half miler at the end of this lake. So we're just going to knock it out. We are gonna knock this portage out and keep moving. Cause four hours, there's no way I'm just gonna set up here and just chill out for the rest of the day. I wanna chill out somewhere where we can fish at least. And you know, I'm, I'm sure there's fish in here. I'm sure they bite, but yeah. Yeah. we'll keep moving. We'll keep moving. There's a couple lakes, let's see. So if we do this portage, it looks like we've gotta do one more Two more. So let's see, we've got one, two, three. Three portages and then we'll be at a lake that's got potentially decent fishing. But if we do four portage, we do one more over quarter mile portage. We'll be at a nice looking lake with a few campsites. Actually it's got potential for good fishing. So, what we'll do is we'll just knock out these three, play it by ear. I'd like to shoot for that lake, but we'll see. The thing is, is if we do all these four portages today, that's gonna make tomorrow really easy. So maybe we should just hammer it out and tomorrow we can just spend the whole day fishing because we're gonna be in a big lake and we could just fish that lake the whole time and just do a couple portages. That'd be kind of fun, just go casting all day. Because I haven't really, you know, I've been casting and I've been moving, but I haven't, like, spent hours upon hours on a lake casting and trying. But you never know, it could be bad fishing. But it, tomorrow it could be a fish dinner. Uh, you know what, I'm so indecisive, it's hard to decide, it's hard to make decisions sometime when you're out here. You know, you just want to, so much I want to do, I want to keep moving, I want to keep fishing. <sighs> you know, it feels good, I feel great right now. Oh, maybe this wetness will uh, make this next portage just like I won't get sweaty, which would be nice. Wolf poop.
he got real muddy on that portage. Whew! All right, that was a mucky one. Once he gets close, I'm gonna have to like hold him in, get his back wet. Monty, it was a trick. Well, there's still a stick out there if you can find it, but it was just to clean you off. Cause you're a dirty dog. Whew. Instantly warm and sticky again after that one. So we've got two little ones and then a maybe another bigger one ish a maybe we don't know if we want to do it yet oh you got it Monty good job so I'm gonna take a drink of water here have another snack keep my energy up my hydration Monty come here you're gonna have to get in this water no don't think you can just skate through the things like an otter or beaver Come here, you little muskrat. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's okay. Come here. Come here. Oh, no, 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 no. You have to come. You have to go here. All right. Stay there. Stay there. Get that booty. No, 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 no. That booty's got to get wet. That booty's got to get wet. No. So what the heck, Dad? What the heck, man? All right. We got that booty wet. Feels so good. Some more snacks. I actually don't like the sun is hot, but since I swam, it definitely cooled my body temperature enough to where even from that last portage, like I'm good and my shirt's still damp. So actually, thanks, Monty. Thanks for getting it wet. You know, it's keeping me cool. I mean, it's still hot. Don't get me wrong. I'm like just on the borderline where. I'm not like sweating. Monty's squeaking though. Oh, heaven to Bitsy. I'm thinking we might make it to that lake today and do some fishing. And if we catch a good catch, you know, I'm gonna tr have trouble saying no to another fish dinner, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> We've got about two and a half hours of light left. One more little portage. Not teeny, but not big. And then we can stay at that lake or we can push through to the next lake. Push through to the next lake. Um, that will be decided when we get there. If we have enough time, I think we're going to knock it out, do the next two, and get to that lake and just fish around, pick out a campsite and just hopefully catch some fish. <laughs> My bad, Loon. See, I sound just like him. <laughs> uh. Still, it's gonna be a beautiful evening. 
still warm that sun it's hot 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 but yep we're gonna do it we're gonna get that last portage done we've got two hours of daylight left I think we can get I think we can get to the other lake and still have an hour of light left and then we can just fish on our way to a campsite throw our bag out we can set up later we're gonna probably end up staying up late tonight and sleeping in so it won't be a big issue to set up at the evening time again but the other lake just looks much nicer who knows if the sun's hot like this and I'm still sweating maybe I'll jump in again cuz I'm warm right now I'm definitely warm Oh, we didn't get any fish near that one tree. That means there's no fish in this lake, so we should move on. Man, is it gorgeous out right now. Okie dokie. We are on our lake for the evening. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Where are we here? Okay, so. Let's see. There's a campsite right there. If that's the campsite, yeah, we're not going to stay at that one. We're gonna move on to the bigger part of the lake. It looks like it opens up into a beautiful lake. We might get a nice sunset. So we have got an hour and 10 minutes of sunlight. I have got my muck boots off. The lake is super clear, nice sandy bottom, beautiful lake. I am super glad we decided to come here instead of stay at the last one. There's a nice cool breeze. Oh, so we're gonna start fishing this channel. We're just gonna fish our way to a campsite. We can, since that one's open, we can always come back here if we have to. If the, it doesn't look like the best cider. I don't even see where it is, to be honest. Somewhere over there. Oh, we want to go to this open part and get a nice sunset. Ooh, there's a beaver home we can start fishing at. Yeah. So we'll do some casting. If, it does, if that doesn't produce, we'll do some trolling. And we'll pick, if the first campsite's really pretty, and nice, and it looks like there's gonna be a nice sunset, we'll stay there. Otherwise, we'll just move to the next site and take that one. We've got all the time in the world, an hour and nine minutes. Oh, feels like an eternity now. I don't care if we have to set up in the dark, we get to fish. I'm just like, today was just a good day of travel. We, we went a lot further than I thought I was gonna make it today. I thought I was gonna take it easy, but nah, we pushed through. But I enjoyed myself, and we still caught our fish for the day. But now, let's catch more. Okay, so I'm seeing minnows surface all over the place. So that could be a good and bad thing. Good because that means they could be feeding right here. Bad because there's plenty of uh, food for the fish to eat. They might not want my funky looking weird thing. 
They might just want the real deal. Okay, so we are going with a more natural watermelon seed color. Definitely looks a little more realistic. The white head, unfortunately, the only sizes I have of quarter ounce jigs are in white. And for casting purposes, I'm starting to stray away from the eighth ounce, at least with this bait caster. It's really hard to cast those. What is that? All right, I think I see bass minnows. Some kind of minnows. I hope this isn't one of those lakes that just have so much bait fish that they're just not gonna bite this. Interesting. That was a perch. That was just right off the bottom. There's perch here. We're gonna try. I would not mind having some perch for dinner. Oh my gosh, that would be so good. We're gonna switch. Alright, on the ultralight we've got the teeny little 132 ounce white mini Mr. Twister Chick head thingy. This is usually my panfish slayer. So if they're biting, they should want this. Let's see. Alright. Well, it's not good enough to make me want to keep doing it with this little thing. I want a chance for bigger fish. So we know there's perch in here. That's good to know, I guess. All right, we're just gonna troll a little bit here with this thing. Okay, so I just checked my map. Um, apparently it says there's pike, lake trout, and now we know there's perch in here. So we are gonna throw on our shad wrap and do a little trolling here. If we catch a Larry, I'm gonna have a hard time not wanting to eat him. Oh yeah, it looks like there's some good drop-offs. Monty was snoring. <laughs> oh, that's good. He's pooped. He's pooped today. He's definitely pooped. Okay, so what we're going to do before we troll is uh, I've got a half ounce jig. And we're going to go to the deepest part of the lake since I know there's lake trout. I thought that was a bite for a second. Anyways. Oh yeah, that's a snag. Look at the same. Oh, oh. Got it. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the deepest part of the lake and we're gonna jig for some lake trout. We'll try the deepest part. We'll try like near like a hump. We'll just try jigging for a few minutes with a half ouncer. I've got one of them. So if we lose it to a pike, or we snag it, it's gone. But we'll just try to bounce bottom. We'll see what happens.
Yeah, we gotta go with the king. We gotta go with what we know works best. We've gotta troll our slayer. You're setting our line to troll. Well, the sun's behind the clouds. I don't really need these anymore. There should be a camp set up there. Oh, that one looks pretty open. And it'll have a nice sunrise. I think we're just gonna troll around this island in this back. It's all, it's like 60 feet deep out here. So we'll just troll around for a good half hour, 45. See if we pick something up. All right, looks like there's a nice campsite right up ahead. So what I'm gonna do, it is getting actually a little chilly out now. So I'm gonna bring in my line, take out my bag quick. Um, put on my Crocs probably, and then put on a sweatshirt. And then we're gonna troll for the rest of the evening. Monty's probably gonna be a little upset once I get out of the boat and then I get back in, but he'll be all right. All right, now we're ready to rock and roll. Got my bag up there on the campsite. It's a nice spot, just like nice little overlook. It'd be terrible if it was like pouring rain and windy, but it's a nice calm evening. Who knows what the morning's gonna bring, but let's catch some Larry's or Peter's, but we're targeting Larry's. That's what we're going for. Let me get out a little ways so we don't, I don't want to deal with no snags right now. Nothing so far. No bites. We're gonna try going between the islands and we'll do another pass and then we do a whole nother loop and don't have any strikes. That's it for the evening. Okay, not a single bite on either lure. Made two passes all around. There was like a 40 foot drop off and it got down to like 60 some feet. And I went to where it was like 30 and kind of just skated by the drop offs, went over the open. I gave this good a good run, but uh, there's, there's minnows surfacing everywhere. So I think these fish have tons to choose from. So they probably are a little bit pickier. Um, I don't even know how healthy the population is of fish in here, but it's definitely that perch. We caught that perch, but lake trout, not a single bite, and not a single bite from pike either, which is surprising, trolling around like this. That's okay. Um, there's actually firewood at the campsite already, so I just gotta process a little up. So we are gonna get back to camp, set up, get fire going, make some max skeddy. Oh, heaven to Betsy. We're gonna set this bad boy up, huh? Let's see. Cause we're up on a rock and there's just like a little bit of grass, but we'll be all right. There's probably not gonna be any crazy winds tonight, but I don't know if that camera picks it up very well, but there's the lake right there. You can see the reflection, but we're on a point where you can see the lake all around to there. It's like a nice little rocky point. Beautiful campsite. Nice and open. So, we actually don't have a ton of work to do because, uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of firewood here. I might need to saw up a little. There's a, there are a few big pieces, but uh, if I just saw them up and then split them up, we should be good to go and have plenty of firewood for the evening. And we just got to burn up spaghetti, but I think I'm going to have a cup of tea, a cup of hot cocoa. Yeah, so anyways, I'm just going to get camp set up quick here. And then uh, we're going to process up some firewood while I'm filtering water. And then we're going to spark up a fire. <laughs> I was just, I was multitasking here, blowing up my sleeping pad. 
and uh, putting stakes in the tent, <laughs> and I heard the weirdest noise, and I heard it was like thumping and like a little grunt, and I was just like, what the heck is that? And I like, paused, and I didn't hear anything, so I went back to doing my thing, and then I did it again, and I heard the thumping and the grunting behind, like, and I was like on that corner, and I was like, what the heck is going on? And then like, <laughs> I went to do it again, and I couldn't see Monty, I was like, Monty, where are you? And then he just like, started growling and attacking me, it's because I <laughs> had the sleeping pad and it was it was him like thumping around and groaning but like I had my back to him so it sounded like some crazy animal out in the woods but he just got up out of like a dead sleep oh, coming man. after my sleeping pad <laughs> little stinker <laughs> oh man that's too good It's far too quiet and still, and it just would echo for like miles, your little noises. And then you'd hear your echo, and then you'd bark at your echo, and you'd be all confused. And so we're just gonna, we'll have to do, oh, don't, wait, don't, what are you doing? What are you doing? Monty, stop it. Stop it, you wild animal. You're crazy. You're crazy. Hey. 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 Simmer down. Simmer down. Simmer down. What are you doing right now? Okay. okay. He's going nuts. What are you doing? You crazy animal. Oh man, he's got so many burrs. He's gonna have to be brushed. Let's see what I can process of this. Some bigger pieces, I might have to saw it up. But uh, I was gonna have my rain fly off and sleep under the stars because the stars are out, but it's uh, dewy. Yeah, that's some nice firewood right there. Okay. Let's see what I can process of this. Some bigger pieces, I might have to saw it up. But uh, I was going to have my rain fly off and sleep under the stars because the stars are out, but it's uh, dewy. Oh yeah, that's some nice firewood right there. Excuse me, my ankles. Oh, yeah. Oh, you little shits. Why do they have to be going for my ankles right now? I know I can process that. I know I can get that. Let's see if we can get this big boy. I doubt it, but let's try. We need something a little more solid. about that. Let's see if we can side sweat it. This is 
not solid enough and I ain't doing it on the rock. Let's try the ground. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen with us. We need an axe for that. No way. All right, before we get to sparking up our fire and cooking, we have got to brush and dry our sweet innocent Monty that is just perched up on this rock bluff overlooking the lake. Monty, come here. It's time to get dry, buddy. You are gonna hate this so much, but you're gonna love it when you're all dry and burr free and all the ickies are out. Oh, he's not gonna have fun with this, are Oh, there's so many, oh my gosh. I feel bad for you. All right, well, I'm gonna shut off that light in the camera because I need to use my headlamp to be able to see what I'm doing here. All right, Monty. chilly out tonight sweet I think this is the chilliest night so far so that was a nightmare I feel bad for poor little Monty um, there were so many birds I just spent at least a half an hour pulling them all out um, there was a couple clumps that I had to take my knife and literally cut the fur out it was bad he had lots of them there and I felt bad but he, um, he was giving me a little bit of fuss the first day, but today he knew what I was doing and he knew, he knows he wanted them out. So he wasn't, he was just like, let me do it. And he was just chilling and he was just like accepting. So he deserves a little beef jerky piece, I think. It's so dewy out right now. Oh, Monty heard the, the bags are crinkling. Okay. Let's get some Skeddy going. Max Skeddy. You know it. And then, Monty, we're gonna get you a treat and dinner. How's that sound, huh? How's that sound, you champion, you floofball? But oh yeah, and that moose, that was definitely a moose sound you could hear, a moose. I, it didn't sound like it was making the best noises, like it was in good shape or something. But it was definitely a moose. Oh, we 
got these hot flames, we might as well be. We're doing a portion and a half. It might be too much. Let's see. It might be too much. Mmm. It's gonna be fine. Oh yeah, okay. This is a food coma right here. Let's get that baby boiling. All right, okay. All right, Monty, you said you deserve something? Was it this? Did you deserve this for your your uh, major travesty there? All right, we don't have much beef jerky left. We got to last two days, so I'm gonna eat half, and then you get this. Well, okay, good boy. Oh, better get it. All right, we need to get Monty some dinner. Dog food. After a long day, some little extra dog food with some magical pumpkin powder. We're really going through the powder, Monty. I've been giving you extra scoops every day. It's okay, you deserve them. Just gotta make sure we have enough for the next couple days. Ooh. All right, there you go. There you go, my friend. All right, we're gonna give him some water too. He drank it the other night. We'll see if he drinks this one too. Hope he does. If he does, I'll give it to him. I think it depends on how easy it is to get to the water for him. It's pretty easy here, so he might not want this. We'll give him a full bowl, and then we'll see what he does with it. There you go, my dad's water. Oh yeah, it's a little chilly out. I'm actually using the fire for warmth this time. Kind of nice staying near the fire. I know you can't probably see me very well. Can you? Probably not. But yeah, it's chilly out. It's definitely the chilliest night. I like it. I could definitely put on a couple thermal layers, but I probably won't. I'll probably just keep the fire going. Oh, but I am clean today. I did get a little sweaty, but it was a long day today. We definitely moved. We moved further than I thought we would. I just put on my hoodie over uh, my other thing. It's pretty good. These My legs are usually fine. Probably would help if I'm wearing socks, but I'm trying to dry my feet out. They've been pretty soggy all day. Monty's laying nearby. You good boy, Monty. You did great today. You're such a champ. <laughs> He's such a good canoe dog. 
I can't believe he was snoring in the boat. That was great. I hope the GoPro picked it up. I had it right near his face and he was snoring for a minute there. Ooh, it's gonna be so good! No moose yet. What the heck, just that dying sounding moose. It probably wasn't dying, it's was fine, but it definitely didn't, it just didn't sound good. I am so hungry, I cannot wait. I need to have some... Monty. We need some emergency starburst. We're gonna blow up our food here. I'm gonna peek at the map, see what we're going on with what's going on tomorrow. And uh once it's boiled up we're gonna let it we hydrate. I'm gonna set that beast off to the side. <laughs> that is a lot of Maggetti. Oh man. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so much spaghetti. Maggetti. It's not spaghetti. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I gotta eat it all. Every last scrap. And I will. <laughs> oh man. This is <laughs> it's a lot. I gotta see how hot it is. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's still pretty hot. Okay. I'm gonna leave this lid off. We're gonna let this cool. Oh. That's gonna be so good. Moon is rising. It's time to eat a heaping pile of Max Getty. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Oh, yeah. Always hits the spot. Still a little hot, but there's so much in the bowl I can't stir it. Hmm. Wow. I wish the camera could pick it up. It makes it look really small on the camera, but that moon looks huge. It's like orange. Since I moved so far today, tomorrow I can spend a lot of time fishing. Um, we're going to hit up a little lake. It'll be the first portage after this lake. We can fish that one pretty good. And then we're going to be in a big old lake. And we can fish that one very well. And just spend the whole day fishing, uh, weather depending. Hopefully it's just good. Um, Um, I think we're going to only do like six portages tomorrow. Shoot for a fish dinner. Um, and yeah. Then that leaves us with uh, six portages on the final day. I think I'm going to actually move a little closer. I think we might stay on the, the lake we stayed on the first night. On the last night. Because we have to go through there anyways. Um, I had the choice of either only having to do like two portages on the final day. Um, the final full day. And then like eight portages to get home back to my truck and then drive for seven hours. So I think I don't want to do that. I'd rather get closer than only have like three portages. 
So that's the plan. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. Alright, well, I'm gonna shut off the camera there. I'm gonna stuff this in my face. And I will check back in with you when I got that whole pot of Max Getty in my stomach. We'll see how I feel. Destroyed. I agree, my team. Mm, indeed. Oh, that's a full tummy. I don't think I should eat that much anymore. Or that. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I should eat that much spaghetti anymore. That size portion. Oh. That was too much pasta. Oh, there we go. Oh, that little burp. Alright. That's what I needed. That felt good. Now I can put a Starburst in. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Alright, so we are sleeping in tomorrow. Well, at least we're going to try to. I've been trying to sleep in. I think I tried to sleep in today. And I still got up right after sunrise. I don't know what's going on. I'm broken. Monty is all wet again. Because of the dew. It's super dewy, wet, so we have to towel dry them quick before we go in the tent. So I'm just going to sit here, let this fire burn down. Probably moan a few times because of my stomach. And then I'm going to clean up, and we're going to get in there, but bed, bed, tent bed, bed ready for tent. Yeah. You heard me. That is your bed. No, that is not your bed. No, 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 no. Please, Monty. Oh, oh, so cool. Oh, it hurts my stomach. There's only so. Oh, there he goes. Oh, Monty. Monty, he's, oh, he's already dewy again. I towel dried him and everything. Um, I'm full. I'm tired. We had a nice day of travel, and uh, I think I'm going to pass out now, so catch you in the morning. Good night, everybody.